So this is a vector addition in two dimensions problem. I'm going to be using right triangle trigonometry to solve this question. And I'm going to start off by drawing a vector diagram. So first thing I'll do is put a little north, south, east, west indicator on my page so I can keep my direction straight. And now I'm going to start drawing my vector diagram. So I'm going to Take this first vector that's listed in the question. Pilot heads west, 170 kilometers per hour. I'm going to draw a line with an arrow. And then I'm just going to label the magnitude. Velocity equals 170 kilometers per hour. So that's my first vector. My second vector, I'm going to add to the end of my previous vector. My reference direction is east. And I want to go 34 degrees north of there with my next vector. So I'm going to go off in kind of that direction there. This angle in here, 34.0 degrees. And the magnitude of this vector, 90.5 kilometers per hour. So there's my vector diagram. Sometimes that's the toughest part of the question. The next thing I'm going to do is resolve all of my vectors into their x and y components. And my first vector went off towards the west or left, so it is already in the x dimension. So I don't have to worry about resolving that one at all. My other vector, though, I can think of that vector that goes off at an angle, the wind vector, as having two components. I can think of it as having a vx component and a vy component. So I've got a nice right triangle there that I'm going to work with. And so the first thing I'm going to do is find the VX component of this vector. So I'm going to use trigonometry. I'm going to use cosine to find VX. So cosine of 34.0 degrees equals VX over 90.5 kilometers per hour. And when I punch that into my calculator, make sure your calculator is set on degrees. You're going to get 75.03 kilometers per hour for a magnitude there. Then I'm going to find the y component for this vector. So I'm going to use sine to do that. So sine 34 degrees equals vy over 90 0.5 kilometers per hour. So when I punch that into my calculator, I come up with 50.61 kilometers per hour. So now I have resolved my vectors that go off at an angle into their x and y components. My next step will be to add all of my vx components together. So I'm going to write down vx is equal to and I've got my red vector going off to the left there. So because it's going to the left, I'm going to put negative 170 kilometers per hour. When I'm adding in one dimension, I use negatives and positives to indicate my directions. So negative 170 kilometers per hour plus my other VX is in a positive direction. So that's 75.03 kilometers per hour. So I add those two together and I come up with negative 94.97 kilometers per hour. Now I'm going to add my VYs together, and there is only one VY, and it's upwards, 50.61 kilometers per hour. So I've added all my X components together. I've added all my Y components together. Now for my final step, and that is to draw my final vector diagram. So what I'm going to do here is I'm going to draw a vector to represent my VX. And the fact that it's negative meant that I drew the arrow towards the left, so I don't have to put the negative in there anymore, because the fact that I drew it to the left accounts for the negative sign. And then my VY is a positive value, so I'm going to draw it upwards. VY equals 50.61 kilometers per hour. And I'm going to try to find 
the resultant velocity. That is going to be the answer to this question. If I look at my first vector diagram, the resultant would represent a line from the beginning to the end of my vector diagram. And so that's what I'm finding in this final vector diagram here. So I'm going to use Pythagorean theorem to find VR. So VR squared will equal VX squared plus VY squared. And when I punch that out, I'm going to get VR as 108 kilometers per hour. So that's the magnitude of the vector. But we're working with vector quantities. They also have direction. So I need to find this angle in here as well, the angle theta. And so to do that, I'm going to work with tangent. So tan of the angle will equal opposite, which is Vy, over adjacent, which is Vx. And when I punch those values in, I'm going to use the second function tan key on my calculator. I'm going to get an angle of 28 Point 0.1 degrees. So at 28.1 degrees. And now I look at my final vector diagram and my first vector, the Vx vector, went off towards the west. So my resultant is 28.1 degrees north of west. Now you could have drawn your Vy vector first and your Vx second, and you would have come up with a complementary angle to that. That's also a correct answer. You could have had 61.9 degrees west of north. That's totally OK for an answer as well. And if you're a mathematician, sometimes you like to express things using the Cartesian method. So 152 degrees would be another way of saying that same angle. So in conclusion, the resultant velocity is 108 kilometers per hour at 28.1 degrees north of west, or 61.9 degrees west of north, or 152 degrees.